if you could meet any human being on the planet, who would you want to meet? And, and just, I want you to put yourself in that emotional state for a second and think, who could you meet? Because for me at that point in time, it was Coach K. As a young coach, um, my favorite coach, idol, if you will, was Coach K, the coach at Duke. I mean, that was someone that I, I had read his book, um, Leading with the Heart. That was one of the books that have had a profound impact on me. Um, so uh, back when I was at Montrose, he was recruiting one of our players at Montrose. So he came to one of our practices and that was the number one person on my list. And here I was going to have a chance to meet the one person on the planet that I most wanted to meet. So I was excited to say the least. And I start talking to him and a couple things about this conversation. One, funny enough, I mean, I, I was not present during the conversation mentally. I was so excited to be talking to Coach K. I don't remember a damn word either one of us said, but I do remember how he made me feel. He made me feel like I was the most important person in the gym. Clearly I wasn't. The kid he was recruiting was the most important kid, person in the gym, but he made me feel like I was. He had great eye contact. He had very, very open body language. He was asking insightful questions. He showed me through his actions that he cared about me and cared about what I had to say. And I'll never forget that. Now, I was raised very old school. I was raised by my parents that when someone goes out of their way to do something nice for you, you hand write them a thank you note. And even though this occurred before social media, we were starting to see the decline of handwritten thank you notes even in the early 2000s um, but I felt it was the right thing to do so I went home and I hand wrote him a thank you note you know coach K you have no idea how much you know that meant to me today thank you for your time you have a lifelong fan I wish you and Duke the best I put a stamp on it sent it off to Durham and just figured that would be that well three weeks later I actually get a handwritten card back from coach K that said, no, Alan, thank you for our conversation. I really enjoyed learning about your training. And I remember thinking, you know, at that time, Coach K was the face of college basketball. Yeah. He was arguably the busiest guy in basketball. And yet he took time to handwrite me a letter, to, to, to show me a gesture of gratitude. That took him maybe 60 seconds to write. Right. But that little thing, as we talked about, has had a profound impact on my life. That little 60 seconds has had a major impact on the way that I view showing other people gratitude. I don't let a day goes by that I don't tell someone that I appreciate them. It also is the reason that I'm relentless about returning emails and voicemails and text messages and even social inquiries. Because I always think back, if the busiest guy in college basketball can make time to write me, basically a no one, a handwritten sign of thank you, then you better believe that I can do the exact same thing. Now here I am thinking I'm incredibly special because Coach K hand wrote me a note. I come to find out he's done that thousands of times. Mm -hmm. And on while one level that did make me feel less special, on another level it actually made it even more impressive that he takes time every single day to send those gestures out to people because he knows that they make a huge difference. And while I don't come anywhere close to having the stature of a Coach K, I do realize that there have been some people in my life, young middle school players and high school coaches that have looked up to me in a certain way. And when I've had a chance to handwrite them something or sign a copy of my book or send them an email or a text, it means just as much to them as that Coach K experience meant to me. And if I'm able to give that gift to another human being, why would I not do that as often as I can?